Jesse, this is Joel, man. It was great to see you play Pebble Beach yesterday. And again, you came up with a really good score, even though you had five three pitches. So see there, just Taylor just missed. Look at this. Watch this very first one. I'll put it in slow motion. You see the ball falling right in front of him there? I'll go back again. Watch it real slowly here. There's, you'll see a ball falling. He just made the swing, and I just started recording. See the ball falling right in front of him there? So he hit that one fat, didn't he? Right, he didn't get solid contact. So now here's the next one. Hit it fat again, so it doesn't get on the green. And that's what happened with you yesterday, right? You either hit it a little fat or a little thin, and that's what mainly caused it to not get on the green for you. So there's one perfect, but that's the way pitching is, right? You'll hit that perfect one every once in a while. But we're just not going to be able to gauge the distance with those as easily as we could a putt or a chip. And of course we know these will all be right on the y-axis. They'll all be dead straight. There's no challenge at all to hitting these things straight. You see, right on the y-axis. Only about two or three feet right of the hole from Taylor's perspective there. There's another perfect one. So, whatever happened there the last few weeks, probably just getting busy with school and work, not being able to play and practice as much as you did in the summer. There's another perfect one, right? Only about five feet left of the hole from his perspective. The perfect distance gives him a nice short putt. But just getting busy is another perfect one. That's very nice. So, uh, getting busy there, you just kind of lost your pitching touch a little bit, I'd say. But man, this will be great if you can really do it a lot, use your nine ball drill a lot, like I've sent you in the weekly video lesson tips last couple weeks. There he missed the green again and went in the bunker with that pitch. But really spend a lot of time doing your nine ball drill this winter, Jesse, with the pitching and the chipping and the putting, and that will help that short game a lot. And we could draw that conclusion yesterday, man, your score would have been phenomenal if you'd gotten the first pitch on the green every time. So thanks so much. Jesse, talk to you soon, man. Hi, this is Joel. I'm here at Dr. Todd Elwood's office. He's one of the best chiropractors in the region. He's a TPI certified golf fitness professional. And I really want you to know about him because he can help you a lot with your golf fitness, just as he's helped my young student Taylor here in the last year or so. And how we met, Taylor came into my office with back pain. We basically what we took him through is numerous screens to find out why he had the back pain. I don't only treat back pain, but my, my second goal is to find out exactly why he has this problem. So we analyze him, we find out he has some certain weaknesses, we're putting on some strengthening exercises, and he's doing very well. He's done great. He's had very little back pain, and that's mainly because he injured it himself working too hard at the golf course. So he's done his exercises, he's felt great. I'm very, very thankful that Todd's been able to help Taylor in this great way. And I want him to help you too if you have any questions at all about your golf fitness. Thank you. Thank you. This is Joel Suggs. I sure enjoyed meeting you down at the Cincinnati Golf Show this weekend and showing you your swing on the 2D equipment that I have. And so I want to take about two or three minutes to just show you around Meadowlink. This is the studio I use in the winter for all my students. You see there's the down the line camera angle for our 2D equipment. And then we have the face on camera angle also. And then what we also have here is 3D equipment to where I can show you your swing from six different camera angles with this 3D equipment and we can get your swing from down to the 120th of a, 1 120th of a second in terms of exactly what your hips, shoulders, and hands are doing in the swing. And then also, we, I have the most realistic hitting curve I've ever seen from PuttersEdge.com. So when you get your full shot, it feels as realistic as possible. And then I have three different green speeds for you to practice your putting. 9.5 on the step meter, 10.5 on the step meter, and 12.5 on the step meter. That's benefited my students tremendously. And then also I have a lot of learning aids like this smart stick. You can see the rest of those learning aids over here in my bag that we can work on to help you learn a certain field in the golf swing that you and I both want. And then also I help my students a lot with their equipment through the winter. This is a frequency analyzer where we twang your club and it gives us a reading here 
and then also we plot your whole set, each club on this, these lines to see if the set is really matched or not. Quite often they aren't, and it helps my students tremendously when they find out what clubs are the offending clubs. Then if we get tired of being indoors and we want to go outdoors and get some, we can do that. It's my daughter. Ellie, good to see you. I haven't seen her in weeks. <laughs> no wonder you've been gone, Ellie. You've been out here playing in the snow all this time. But this is our natural turf area. This is closed until April, as you can see. Uh, but it's a fantastic area where we can step outside and hit some balls and get some real ball flight. Or, if we get pretty satisfied and things are looking better on the video here, we're kind of cooped up inside and want to go outside, we can step on out and hit balls and see real ball flight for about 5 or 10 or 15 minutes, however long you and I can stand the cold, out into the air and we see them land at these different flags. I have a yardage book for this driving range. It's the first one I've ever seen in my life where we know exactly what it is with the front, back, and middle of each green. And again, the covered area here is heated, so we stay out there for about 5, 10, 15 minutes, like I said, and it enables us to see some ball flight. And then we get satisfied with things are looking the way we want, and we come back inside, take off our coat, and look again at the video equipment to see how your swing's looking to make sure that you understand it. And then notice too, my exercise ball up top here, and then also, so I help my students a lot with their fitness through the winter, and then I will help you also with your sports psychology, with your golf psychology from the golfpsych.com people down in Texas. That's helped my students tremendously a lot over the years too. So again, I sure enjoyed meeting you down at the Cincinnati Golf Show this weekend. I look forward to seeing you again out here this summer at Meadowlinks or even right now in the winter. I have a lot of people that work on their games with me right through the winter. Check out more information about the things I do to help you at joelsud.com. Take care.